so I have a rebate haul to share with you. I ended up shopping at a few different stores, um, and I actually shopped over a few days. I started shopping on Friday, just picking up some of the um, rebate items that I wanted to get, and then Saturday is always my um, grocery haul day. Any miscellaneous last minute deals, errands, and things like that. So I also picked up a few things on Saturday and then a few things on Sunday as well. So what I ended up doing is I believe I recorded the haul in two parts. So when I shopped Friday, I recorded that. And then when I shopped the rest of the weekend, I recorded that. So it's kind of broken up, if you will. Nonetheless, I am trying to be very mindful of putting out very long videos. Um, just be mindful of that don't want to put out anything that's too long however i have already started editing the haul parts of this video and it's going to be quite long and sometimes just not wanting to sacrifice the quality and then making sure that i'm giving you guys all the information that you will need to duplicate these deals sometimes you just end up with a lengthy video so i think what i'll probably do moving forward is just break it up per store so if i am doing rebates at maybe two or three different stores just a video for each store or maybe one or two stores combined depending on how much um, how many rebates i do etc so anyways moving on ibotta at the top of the month put out three new rebates i believe we have a I'll put it up because I can't remember, but I know the highest rebate amount was redeemed 70 rebates and you earn $12 in bonus cash in addition to the money that you will receive for the um, items you are purchasing for the rebate. Now, the good thing about this is that we do have an entire month to meet the quota. So it's not like we have to do it within a week or two weeks span. So I think it will be doable. Now, I will tell you guys, I am not a hardcore rebate girl at all none at all however i do want to challenge myself to see just how much work it will be with getting the rebates on ibotta and any other um rebate apps and then just see how far i can go with it so this is just going to be a little bit of a challenge for me um and a journey to kind of step up my rebate game if you will so if you have any tips or tricks for me definitely leave those in the comments down below again i am not a hardcore rebate girl if there's a rebate for an item i am purchasing i'm definitely going to redeem for it but i have never been one that just intentionally shop just for the rebate but nonetheless last month i made close to a hundred dollars i think i made like right at 91 dollars on ibotta alone not including savings or um, checkout 51 fetch rewards or um kroger cashback so excited about that and i want to see just how much i can make for this month and how much i can push myself to get some rebates and deals and all that stuff there so again if you have any tips or tricks leave those in the comments for me below moving forward i will try not to um i will tr most likely do it store by store um just depending on how many items and how much information i need to give you guys um for each deal so on and so forth so let's stop yapping and i'll go ahead and next clip will be the rebate so i think at the end of my last video i said thank you for watching if i didn't thank you for watching definitely be sure to like comment share and subscribe definitely let me know in the comments below how do you go about um utilizing rebates working them into your deals do you do shopping just for rebates or is it more so if you happen to be buying something and if it's a rebate do you go ahead and redeem it comment down below and share with us all here in the community but let me stop yapping and let's get into the haul all right so over at walmart the tide pods the 16 count are priced at four dollars and 94 cent we have a insert coupon from the august png for two dollars off one if you did not receive that coupon in your insert then you can check png.com or it may be brandsaver.com and see if there's a printable coupon available. Just remember with the PNG coupons, the day that you print them, you must use them the same day because they do expire that day. So $2 off, you will pay $2.94 out of pocket. Getting back $2 from Ibotta makes it 94 cents. The same thing with the Tide Liquid. This is the 37 ounce. The rebate was for 37 to 40 ounces. $4.94, $2 coupon, making it $2.94 out of pocket. Getting back $2 from Ibotta makes it $0.94. Cent. And here's the breakdown on that for anyone that is visual, like myself, and need to see it. So again, $2 coupon, you would pay $2.94 the, the register. 
Getting it back $2 from Ibotta makes it $0.94. Cent. All right, then on the Kotex, the Bailey, their liners, these are the 50 count. They're priced at $2.97 each. For two of them would be $5.94. We have a four of two. Insert coupon. You can check coupontom.com to locate which insert the coupon came from. So minus a four of two makes it $1.94 out of pocket. Getting back a dollar on each one from Ibotta, so two dollars there makes them absolutely free. Now, one thing to note that four of two coupon did beep, and it took an act of Congress to get my cashier to push it through in the entire situation. It's obviously for the right product, for whatever reason, that coupon beeped, and the cashier had to call someone else over to read it, then called a customer service manager to make sure, and then they went ahead and over it, um, override it and pushed it through. So. The Kotex coupon is beeping at Walmart. All right, then on the renews it, these are 97 cent each. For two of them, it's a dollar and 94 cent. There's a Ibotta rebate for 75 cent back on two, so you must buy two, making them a dollar and 19 cent or 60 cent each. So here's the math on that. Again, 97 cent each. Two is 194. Ibotta gives you back 75 cent. $1.19 makes it $0.60 cent each. All right, then on the Pioneer Barbecue Sauce, this here is a 2 point, let's see, 1 pound, so 18.5 ounce container. I found these here um, next to where all the other barbecue sauce is in the store. So Pioneer Barbecue Sauce, they are priced at $2.48. We have a dollar off one um, internet printable coupon from coupons.com, making it a dollar and 48 cent out of pocket. Ibotta is giving back 75 cents. So it ends up making it 73 cents after the um, Ibotta rebate. So again, $2.48, dollar coupon from coupons.com. Makes it $1.48 out of pocket, $0.75 cent from Ibotta, makes it $0.73. Cent. Then on the red beans, these are a one pound bag. They're priced at $1.32. Ibotta has a $0.35 cent rebate, making it $0.97. Cent. So again, $1.32. Ibotta's giving back $0.35, cent, making it $0.97. Cent. On the minute rice, this is a 14 ounce. These are priced at $1.88. Ibotta is giving back a 50 cent rebate, making it a dollar and 38 cent there. So again, 188, Ibotta 50 cent, makes it a dollar and 38 cent. All right, so my final total for everything was $14.44 out of pocket. Getting back a total of $8.35 from Ibotta makes the net cost $6.09. So not too bad um, for pretty much Getting a few food items for the price of what I would have paid, um, plus a little bit more on just the Tide products alone. So not too bad there. Again, $14.44, $8.35 in rebates coming back. Net cost $6.09. All right, so over at Kroger's, I picked up six of these sparkling ice waters. You only see three here because my kids legit cannot let anything stay in the refrigerator for more than an hour. So the Ibotta rebate that we have is $1.20 back when you buy six. So you must buy six in order to get that rebate. Again, I did pick up six. Three have already been disposed of. So these are priced at $0.77 cent this week. They're normally 10 for 10, so a dollar each. So $0.77, cent. there's some savings there. And then stacking it with the Ibotta rebate for additional savings. So six of them would be $4.62 getting a dollar and 20 cent back from Ibotta makes them three dollars and 42 cent or 57 cent each so not too bad there if my Ibotta resets I'll definitely go and pick up six more as my kids and the hubby really likes those um, ice drinks so moving on the Cliff Kid Z bars these are priced at two for five this is the six count there are two for five I had a Kroger coupon that I got in one of the Miller booklets that Kroger sends out with coupons in them for a dollar off two. So two for five, a dollar off two coupon makes it four dollars out of pocket. Ibotta is giving back 75 cents up to five times. So I picked up two boxes. That means I'll get back 75 cents on both. So a dollar fifty back from Ibotta. And then Kroger's has the same offer, 75 cents back as well. 
So the math works out as so, $4 out of pocket, $1.50 from Ibotta, $1.50 from Kroger Cashback, makes it a dollar or 50 cent each so not too bad there now these things are normally priced at about 350 380 a box so getting it down to 50 cent a box that's definitely some savings there one thing to note with the kroger cash back it states that you're not supposed to get kroger cash back on any item that you use the coupon on um, manager specials, markdowns, clearance, etc. However, I have been utilizing coupons, whether paper or digital. I have been picking up things that are on clearance that have the Kroger cashback offers and have still been able to get those offers back. So it is just going to be one of those hit or miss things if you are using coupons or picking something up that's on um, markdown. What I always say is that if it's a product that you normally would buy anyway, go ahead and pick it up. If it's on sale, you have a coupon for it, etc. If you get the Kroger cash back, great. If you don't, nothing's really lost because it's a product that you would have normally picked up anyway. So moving on. All right, one item that you don't see is a Lunchable. So I picked up one of the Lunchable Naturals. They are, um, well, they're normally priced like $2.30, I believe, but they have them on markdown at my store for $1.49. Ibotta is giving back $0.75 cent on one, and then um, Kroger Cashback is giving back $0.75 cent on one as well. So $1.50 in rebates coming back makes it absolutely free. And again, it's on the Lunchable Natural, so if you do that deal, make sure you're picking up the right product. Always scan your um, products with the app in store before you make your purchase. So it was on more down for $1.49. Ibotta gives back $0.75. Kroger Cashback gives back $0.75 as well. That item is MIA because the oldest son ate it. So that is that. All right, then over on the Kleenex. So the Kleenex is two for three on sale. We have a digital coupon on the Kroger app for $2 off two. They will apply to two of these here. So two for three, $2 off two makes it $1 out of pocket. And then Ibotta has 50 cent rebate up to five times. So you get a dollar back on Ibotta because buying two. And then Kroger Cashback has the same offer for 50 cent up to five times. So a dollar coming back on the Kroger Cashback as well makes it free plus a dollar moneymaker. So not too bad there. All right. So then over on the Eckert Sausage, these are the 39 ounce containers or 39 ounce packages. They are on sale this week for $4.99. Now I had a 55 cent off coupon that I got from one of the Miller booklets from Kroger. So that made it $4.45, no, $4.44. Ibotta gives back 55 cents, so it makes it $3.89. So again, they are priced at $4.99, 55 cent coupon from the Kroger booklet, $4.45, $4.44 out of pocket, 55 cent coming back from Ibotta makes it $3.89. I think that is a pretty good deal for this huge pack. I typically get the single, the smaller um, pack, it's like what, 12 ounces, paying about $3.49, so about 20 cent more. I'm definitely getting more bang for my buck, so not too bad there. Then on the Kid Fresh this week, their price, um, buy one, get one free. These are regular price, $3.49 in my store. I had a Catalina coupon that printed off maybe my last um, shopping trip for a dollar off two. So I picked up two of them. Again, they're buy one, get one free. $3.49 is the price. I used that dollar Catalina, making it $2.49. That's what I paid out of pocket. I bought us giving back 50 cent on two, so you must buy two to get the 50 cent back from Ibotta. That makes it a dollar and 99 cent. However, there is a Catalina promotion running on these here. For when you buy one to two, you get a dollar Catalina back. If you buy, I think three, no, it's one to three, you get a dollar back. Or if you buy four or more, you get two dollars back. Something of that nature, but it is a Catalina running on that. So getting that dollar back from buying two of them makes them 99 cent or 49 cent each. So again, on sale, buy one, get one free. That's $3.49. I had a dollar Kroger coupon making it $2.49. I bought us giving me that 50 cent on two. 
$1.99. Getting back that Dollar Catalina for buying two makes them $0.99 cent or $0.49 cent each. And here's how that Dollar Catalina looks. And it just says, save a dollar on your next shopping order. Thank you from Kid Fresh. So that is that. I can use this to purchase anything else, put it, um, apply it towards my next order, and so on. Then I receive a dollar fifty off when you buy one box of Kid Fresh waffles. So that's pretty sweet. Guess the next time I get to the store, I'll look to see if these are also buy one get one free. And see, I think we do have a rebate on this as well. So that'll make for a pretty sweet deal as well. So again, it is a unadvertised Catalina. If you go to, I want to say the website is Catalina.com. I'll leave it linked. Um, for you, but if you go to the Catalina website itself, it will list all current um, Catalina promotions that are going on and what stores they're going on at. I found out about this here because I had a little Catalina and I can't find it. I don't know. I think I may have thrown it out, but I had a little Catalina that is like this, a little coupon. It printed off at the uh, register. It was not a coupon, but it just let you know about the promotion, telling you that if you purchase one to three, you get a dollar back or four or more, you get $2 back. So that's how I knew about this here. And I went ahead again, stacking the sale, buy one, get one free, the coupon that I had, and then the Ibotta rebate as well. So that is that. Okay. So for my totals for Kroger's for everything, my total cash out of pocket was $18.04, getting $9.75 back in rebates, which includes that dollar Catalina for the Kid Fresh makes my net total at $8.29 for everything that you see here and then the few items you don't. Again, missing three of the waters and then the um, the Lunchable Natural. All right, so then hopping over to HEB. HEB is a grocery store that's local here in the Texas area. I don't frequent this store often. Just when they have those random hot deals, I'll go in. They have a uh, weekly freebie that they do. You would simply text Within the Facebook Messenger, you will send a text, like free item to HEB, and they will send you back a little coupon, if you will, digital, and you clip that, and you're able to go in store and get the free item of the week. I was not able to get my free item because my store did not have the bag that I want, so I'll have to go to another location and see if I can get my hands on it. So, moving on. These flavored sodas here, these are priced at $0.76. Cent. There's a coupon on the HEB app for four for two fifty. So basically, you pay two fifty for four of them. No coupons to pair up with it. But I bought it. It's giving me back a dollar on four. And again, I'm looking to reach my bonuses. And why not? Sugar in a bottle for the kids. Why not? So the coupon on the app again is four for two fifty. So two fifty. Out of pocket, getting back a dollar from Ibotta makes them a dollar fifty or thirty-eight cent each. So, again, sugar in a bottle, why not? All right. So the one thing I was excited to find was on these um, Nature's Truth vitamins. These are the B12 fast dissolving vitamins, sixty count. These are priced at five dollars and ninety-five cent. There's a yellow coupon that says store coupon for say five off a fifteen dollar purchase for Nature's Truth Vitamins. You can pick whatever it is that you would uh, prefer to get. I went with B12 because I actually need these and it was right in the price point of what I wanted to pay. So three of them, $5.95 each, makes it $17.85. We have $2 off one insert coupon, so that will take off $6. Again, $2 off this one, this one, this one. Always check coupontime.com to locate which insert a coupon would have come from. I used the HEB coupon for $5 off a $15 purchase. That brought me down to $6.85. Ibotta has a rebate on two, $2 back on each. So this one counted for the rebate and then this one, but this one did not. However, I still needed to buy three in order to reach that $15 mark to use that store coupon. So $4 back from Ibotta makes them $2.85 or 95 cent each so not too bad there again 5.95 each 17.85 six dollars in manufactured coupons five dollars in store coupons 6.85 four dollars from ibotta makes it 285 or 95 cent each so not too bad there 
All right. Then on these here. Now, when I clipped the, the manufactured coupon for these caramel popcorns, I wasn't even paying attention. I thought the coupon was for the candy because we typically get coupons on the candy. But when I went into Ibotta and I seen it was a rebate, I realized, no, it was for the popcorn. So this is at Walgreens. I was looking for this at my Kroger, but Kroger did not have them. Um, or my Kroger didn't have them. But this is at Walgreens. They're on sale two for seven. There's a Walgreens coupon in the monthly booklet for a dollar off two. This coupon booklet, you will find it in the front of the store next to the ads. If you don't see it there, simply ask your manager and or cashier where the uh, monthly booklet is. We get this every single month. You don't have to clip these coupons. You keep the entire booklet intact and whenever you're purchasing a qualifying item, have the um, cashier scan that coupon one time and it will apply to each item that you are purchasing. So if I would have picked up four, then two dollars would have come off by scanning this coupon one time because again it is a dollar off two so that is that then we do have dollar off one insert coupon so i use two coupons there so it brought the total down to four dollars again there are seven two for seven a dollar off two in the walgreens booklet two dollar manufacturer coupons makes it four dollars i went ahead and used points to pay for it so i paid no cash out of my pocket Getting back $2.50 from Ibotta would make them $1.50 or $0.75 each. But again, for me, it makes it absolutely free plus a $2.50 money maker since I use store money to pay for it. I did not use cash out of my pocket. I used store money to pay for it. So that is that. All right. So totals between HEB and uh, Walgreens and Kroger. So my net cost for Kroger's was $8.29. HEB $4.35. Walgreens again was free. I didn't pay any cash out of my pocket. So that makes it a total of $12.64 for everything that I picked up that you see here. And again, the three waters you don't see and as well as the Lunchable that you don't see. So not too bad there. Um, pretty much, I mean, $12.64. I think, well, it's not too bad. Y'all know how I like to pay zero out of pocket, but I guess when you including getting grocery items um, and then getting some vitamins as well, I'm pretty much paying less than what I would have paid just for the three vitamins alone. So not going to complain about that. As always, guys, if you have any questions about anything that I discussed, definitely comment down below and let me know if there are any deals that you did at Walgreens, um, Kroger's, Walmart. HEB, share those deals down below with us as we're all here looking to save as much as possible. As always, thanks so very much for watching and until next time guys, happy couponing.